What about socialization? Aren't you worried that your child's going to be weird because they're not socialized? If you're a homeschooler, you've probably heard this question once or twice. If you want to know why I think that socialization isn't important, stick around. Aloha homeschooling ohana, I am Summer and welcome back to my channel for those of you who have been here before. For those of you who are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am a homeschooling mama to one little and we are currently in this first grade year of homeschooling. And while I'm filming this, it is the holiday season so I'm going to take full advantage of the season and say happy holidays. So in my opinion, homeschoolers being worried about socializing their child, um, it's not as important as building a community. And the reason why I say that is because when I think of community, I think of finding your people, finding people who share the same values as you do, who, I mean, you can be different. Everyone's going to be different. Every family's going to be different. But for the most part, they value you, you value them. It's about finding a community where you can lean on one another um, on this journey. It's about finding a community where you can form friendships and watch those relationships flourish. So full disclosure, when we first started homeschooling, I wasn't worried about socialization. And the reason why is because we did live in our home state where we had a lot of family and we already had we already had friends for myself and my child. However, when we moved to another state, it was hard. It was so hard because we didn't know anyone except for my in-laws. We had no friends. Um, there were, we just, we didn't have anybody. So I did start to worry about socialization. I think I also worried about it more because I kept hearing people say, oh, your child needs to socialize because if not, they're going to be weird. But really, what is weird? I feel I feel like weird is just whatever you make it to be, right? <laughs> um, but I kept hearing that. I kept hearing people say like, oh, he's not going to know how to play with other children because he doesn't socialize well. He's not going to know how to talk to other people because he doesn't have opportunities to socialize with kids. So I did this thing last year. I did this thing last year where I felt all of that pressure to socialize my child. And I did this thing where I would just take my child to random parks to meet random children. Children he'd play with for 30 to 60 minutes and we would never see each other again. I mean, we'd even go back to the same park on the same, you know, like if we went the previous Wednesday, we'd go back the next Wednesday around the same time in hopes to find this kid that he played with last week so that he could play with them again. But we've never seen any of the kids that we've played with at our community parks again, ever, like ever. And then, um, you know, that made me sad because it was just like it was a temporary fix for him to get um, a chance to play with other kids. So I did this thing where I signed him up for sports. I signed him up for other community activities but uh, you know in hopes that we would build um friendships or you know a community and we didn't i mean i spent almost four months with the same set of parents and families um at a, at a community on a community sports team i can't even tell you the names of any of the parents i can tell you the name of the coach i can tell you the name of like maybe six kids but I don't know any of their, their parents. They kept to themselves. Um, no one really socialized with each other. Um, it would be practice. Everybody got to practice and everybody would sit by and then go. Which the, the point being is that I took him just so that he could socialize with other kids. Um, it wasn't something that he really wanted to do. But all he knew is that he wanted to do it because other kids would be there so he could meet other kids. But um, it wasn't until a few months later where we found a homeschooling group who we, um, you know, we now, now they're a community. The people come, as soon as we found that homeschooling group, we just, it was just like a big sigh of relief. <laughs> um, and it was because we found our community. Now this group, it's, you know, it has, it has over 20 different families. Um, I, we don't always get to see these families um, in person or we don't get to see them all at one time. Um, however, like we found, we found our community. And after finding this group, it's like everything fell into place. We had play dates. We had a place to socialize. 
Um, we had a place for conversation. We had a place where we um, felt seen, where we belonged, where we felt supported. It's a place where we built friendships. And, you know, you don't go into these things thinking that you're going to be friends with every family that you come across in this community. However, it is nice to say that I actually have three families that, you know, where I'm friends with their moms and my kid is friends with their kids. Honestly, it has changed my attitude towards homeschooling as far as my confidence. I have confidence now because my child is happy because instead of worrying about finding all kinds of ways for him to socialize with random kids, I was able to find a group of people who were building a community with. And that has changed my attitude with homeschooling so much. Um, and it's true, like when you're confident about what you're doing for your child, then, you know, like your our homeschool runs smoother. I'm not saying it's perfect because let, let's be real. Homeschooling is not perfect every day. There is no way. Um, <laughs> but it's empowered me to do to know that I'm doing the very best I can for my child on this journey and that if I need support I have it with my my husband with my um immediate family and friends and now with this community of other homeschooling families who for the most part understand what I'm going through you know if I need help I have them to to help me with um questions that I have with resources it's just it's just so much it's so much um it's just it's just such a better year this year because we have that community so my overall message for homeschooling parents who are worried about socialization is that just don't settle for just socializing find a group where you can build community with where you can build friendships with and if you can't find one that's close to where you're at you might just have to step out of your comfort zone and create the group yourself or create the opportunity for other homeschooling ohanas to to meet up with you and your you know you and your family so you may have to step out of your comfort zone and do it yourself and honestly i say that um because i was desperate <laughs> at one point i i couldn't find any um cuz we're secular homeschoolers, so I couldn't find any secular homeschooling groups where we lived in our district, in our county. And it had been almost nine months of searching like on Facebook and out in the public, and I just couldn't find them. So I was desperate and I was about ready to like make my own group on Facebook and just invite, you know, other families, like step out of my comfort zone to do that. But luckily I did find this, this group. So if the opportunity isn't there for you already, you just might have to make that opportunity for you and your ohana. What I've got for you, I hope that this has helped you in encouraging you, um, especially if you are concerned about socialization. Just know that socialization is not important. It's about building, building community for you and your ohana. So yeah, if you like content like this, go ahead and like this video, hit subscribe, and I'll see you again. Aloha, ahui ho, until we meet again.